Hey guys, new tool here called Spines the SVG, which it does exactly that. It takes your selected spines and exports them out to an SVG file or your clipboard. You can see here it supports all the spine shapes as well as text. If you're going to do text, just make sure you collapse it to a spline before you decide to run the tool. So you'll see here we select everything. We do have some padding options. I'll show you what that does. Uh, flatten, uh, which these all have tool tips. I explain what they do. Flatten will place splines that have multiple subshapes into a group. So to give you an example of what that would look like, let's go ahead and create a circle real quick. We'll collapse that to a spline. And then if it has a bunch of sub splines, uh, you can see it's just one object. They'll be placed inside of a group. So we can select all this. We'll hit save as file. We'll just do my splines, hit save. And we'll go into Affinity Designer and we'll go ahead and open it. So you can see here each tool or each splines in a group. And you can see our circle one. And then this one down here, which is one we were talking about. You can see all the shapes are placed inside here. It does inherit the wire colors of what you have in 3ds Max. So it's important if you want to set those colors accordingly. So we'll add padding. We'll go ahead and do 10. And then you'll see when you hover over this, if you hit control before clicking the save button, it'll essentially just do the export process, but it won't prompt you to click uh, a new file save location. It just overrides the previous location. So you'll see here the green goes right to the border, but now that we added padding, if we open the file again, you'll see now we have some breathing room around it. Now if we go back into 3ds Max, uh, the clipboard option, uh, let's just go ahead and maybe select We'll create a new shape. Let's just do a star. Collapse that to a spline, and we'll just do copy to clipboard. Again, same thing here. If you hold control when you click this, it will suppress the dialog and just copy it to the clipboard. We can go here and hit paste, and now we have our star. So check out the tool. Let me know if you have any feedback uh, or features you want. And uh, thanks.